We actually have Colleen Mayer standing by with us right now. Okay. Let's see how she's feeling about this. She's with our Amar Khan at her, uh, her campaign headquarters. Amar? Jenny, I'm here in St. Vitale with Colleen Mayer, who has lost to the NDP's Jamie Moses here. Colleen, can you just tell us a little bit about how you're feeling today? I'm extremely proud of the run that we had. I am so happy of my team. We worked hard. We did everything. I'm proud of what I accomplished over the last three and a year, three and a half years. I, I can't. I'm not hanging my head. We work very hard here, and I'm pleased to have served and been given that opportunity to serve the people of, of St. Patel. This is not the result that you wanted, but your party has, uh, ha, ha, the CBC News is, alike, is projecting that you, uh, there will be a PC majority. How do you feel on a grand scale about how your party has still retained power in the province? I'm extremely excited. I'm so happy because the work that we have done over the last three and a half years has been amazing and we're only going to keep going forward and keep working for Manitobans. So whether I am there in the background or I'm there at that seat, I cheer them all on. They all ran extremely good races. They're great, fantastic people. I'm so proud of them and uh, I'll still be on their cheer, cheerleading team uh, uh, as they go forward. Colleen Mayer, the PC candidate in St. Vitale. Just moments ago, she actually conceded here in front of her campaign office with her volunteers. So Jamie Moses of the NDP will be the one who will be taking this seat. Back to you, Janet. Amar Khan, live in St. Vitale. Thank you so very much. Pandemonium. It's the only way to describe the celebrations at Portage in Maine. More than a thousand fans swarmed the famed intersection, shutting it down for hours to celebrate the Blue Bombers win. I can't tell you how much this means to me. I can't. I, I, I'm just blown away. The passion that I have for football is just unspeakable. And the Bombers, I believed in them the whole way, and I knew they were going to bring it home, and they did. And the Bombers won in a spectacular way. The team's defense came up big and a strong performance by running back Andrew Harris resulted in their first championship in 29 years. They have put the win back in Winnipeg, the Blue Bombers, 2019, great cup champions. While the game was played in Calgary, fans in Winnipeg spent their night drinking out of a miniature Grey Cup as others chanted throughout the night, showing love to their team. In the midst of the crowd was Chris Sitnik, a season ticket holder. Sitnik has experienced many downs, but is now enjoying the ups. It's the best feeling in the world right now. You can't describe it, Ryan. I mean, it's great. Like many fans, Sitnik came to celebrate the party in the city's downtown core. This is family here. Bomber family. That's it, right here. For some fans who had never experienced a Winnipeg win, the celebration was particularly special. Celebrations are everything. Sports is what makes this city. It's what we breathe. We breathe hockey. We breathe football. We love the Blue Bombers. We love this. We love Andrew Harris. We, this is our cup. This is our season. Fans across the province took in the game in different ways. Some rocking the blue and gold at house parties. Others taking to the local bar to celebrate with their loved ones. We knew we had a chance, we knew we had a chance, and who better to celebrate with than all these people, our young, next generation, old friends, new friends, right? This is the best, the best. While Winnipeg is experiencing a rough patch due to the heightened level of crime, this particular win was desperately needed. I hope it means an awful lot and people can pull together and stop some of the silliness that's happening in Winnipeg and, and just be good people. Good is what Winnipeg was on Sunday night, both on and off the field, with people of the city reminding the country why win is in their name. Amar Khan, CBC News, Winnipeg. I'm here with Lucky Whitehead. Lucky, what's it like? Oh, it's amazing, Philip. Wow, lost the turn. <laughs> it's just fun, man. It's just fun. I just want to show them a little bit. You got the goggles on, you got your shirt off. That's what I'm talking about.
Yeah, get that work out in. Thousands of people here, more than more than Portage yeah. and Maine. What, what does this mean to you and to this team? It means a lot, man. My first year out here in the CFL, I had great success. The team was up and down. It was all working. L Lucky Whitehead, Grey Cup champion. How does that sound? It sounds amazing. And like I said, the city deserves this shit. That's Lucky Whitehead. He's, he's walking around with the trophy, the, his shirt off. As are all the fans here. This is literally packed all the way to the forks. We're, we're heading there now, and the fans are still walking with us. There's thousands of people walking towards the actual rally. It's absolutely manic. The city hasn't seen anything like this. So this is really special. And, and now we, we're joined by Mayor Brian Bowman. Uh, Mayor Bowman, what's it like to be a part of this? This is surreal, and you know what? It's great for the team. They deserve all the attention and praise they're getting from Winnipeg fans. This has been a long time coming, so I'm thrilled to see so many people who were able to come out on such short notice. When you look at all this crowd and you see thousands of people here, not hundreds, yeah. literal thousands, yeah. and they're walking with it, what's it mean to you? Uh, it's just amazing. You know what? This team has worked so hard to deliver a cup for us as a community. And uh, we just want to say thank you and congratulations to every single member of the Winnipeg Blue Bomber organization. And of course, our hometown heroes. There's a number of players from Winnipeg that uh, probably have dreamt about going through Portage and Maine and coming to the Forks most of their uh, their careers. And so today is the day. You're, you're a longtime season ticket holder. Yeah. I mean, now, and now you're mayor. Did you imagine that this could be this big? And you know, sh you know, show Canada why football means so much to the city. Yeah, you know, can, I mean, the, the thing about sport is it brings people together and it can bring out the best in a community and we're seeing that here today. The Canadian Football League, of course, connects Canadians from coast to coast to coast and you see that every year at the Grey Cup and so today really is that opportunity for us just to celebrate who we are as a community and to obviously uh, show our appreciation to uh, the team, uh, you know, bringing, bringing it home and making Winnipeg Winnipeg. Fulguni Patak is an Indian pop icon. She sells out stadiums across India. Now she's in Winnipeg, the first real major musician from South Asia to perform in the city. It's a dream come true to see the Dandia Queen, a name given to her for inspiring people to stick dance. It's as special as you would know Taylor Swift is coming to Winnipeg. So it's something like that, but it's more traditional. Patek has the charm to make people dance at her command. Shivani Entertainment, the company who brought her to Winnipeg, say they sold more than 2,500 tickets. You'll see these singers coming into Vancouver or Toronto, and now this time it's Winnipeg. So we're trying to build in more cultural events, more, you know, get Winnipeg known for what it actually is. Like the diversity that we have over here, it's incredible. Patek has toured most of North America. She says this performance is one to remember. I've been to Canada before, almost 10 years ago, but never to Winnipeg. This is a first. We're excited to be in a new city. The love from the fans has been overwhelming. Patek believes music is key for South Asians to pass on their culture to the next generation. I think there is Indian culture that is already lively here. But if you start to bring in talent from back home, people, especially young kids, will have a chance to connect with their roots. Stars like Patek normally skip smaller cities from metropolises like Vancouver and Toronto, but Jodhri feels Winnipeg is building a name in this market. I'm looking forward to it that she might come every year here and she would like it because uh, Winnipeg is a global hub. Shivani Entertainment says it has more shows in the works. So pulling in um, art, Bollywood artists, that number one, I think that's our next goal. And I really want everyone to help support with that event as well, because it's going to be fun. Who doesn't want a, you know, a Bollywood star to come to Winnipeg? Already singing and dancing, that's music to these fans' ears. Amar Khan, CBC News, Winnipeg.